Hey, what is up guys? Gita Rock here. Welcome back to the counter side video. Alright, tomorrow we're gonna have a global patch notes. Alright, if you guys are not aware today, C just had our uh those players on C server just had our patch notes and you know what? We all we have the new season of Danger Close uh coming in. And this time the danger close of the C server consists of these two bosses right here, which is the Tyrant Armor and Regenerated Bishop. But tomorrow marks the first day of global servers danger close. So let's have a look at the patch notes and what bosses will the global server have on their first season. Now as you guys can see, uh, 30th of June, the end of June, we're gonna have danger close and these are the two bosses that are announced. Alright, so moderator type A and Solicitatio. Now uh, this surprises me a little bit because uh, on C server, I think back then, if I'm pretty sure, again my memory could have been, um, not sure if I can remember it correctly, but I'm pretty sure moderator type A and B, the two spider bosses, were the first boss in C server. So as you can see right now uh, in global, we're gonna have moderator type A alongside with Solicitatio. Now Solicitatio is not exactly beginner friendly, this boss is quite difficult to deal with because you need quite a number of characters that's unique to her, right? Characters that you probably don't build for any other purposes. For example, uh, Gabriel Jun, some tower units, and perhaps Hayami Sanae, which is a, a sniper, right? That deals more damage to siege unit. So this boss, if you guys are not aware, Solicitatio is a siege unit. So now, players can finally access the Danger Close shop. Now obviously, if you can't beat the boss, it's fine. You don't have to try to beat the boss. There's three levels for each boss, up to level three. Now your objective is to hopefully beat level 1 and level 2 at least, that's the easy one. And for level 3, you want to get as high score as you can. You don't necessarily need to beat the boss, obviously if you beat the boss, you get the highest amount of score that you can. And for whales, that's their objective, is to beat the boss, not, not just beating the boss, but at the fastest time possible to perhaps get more score. So that's something that whales should strive towards too if you're trying to get in the top rankings of danger close, right? So as you can see, these things can be purchased, you finally have access to Hummingbird gears and a bunch of other maze gears. Now whether you want to buy Hummingbird gears or maze gears is up to you. Uh, eventually you will need to empty out the shop uh, and you will be able to empty out the shop eventually anyways, right? And uh, keep in mind, all the things here can only be purchased once, it doesn't refresh or whatsoever. So just buy things that you're gonna need first. If you think you're gonna need a, a better gear for your tank or your, your defenders, then the Hummingbird is not that bad of an option. But if you want more DPS, you know, gears, you're trying to get a bunch of uh, good gears for your rangers or snipers, then the uh, maze gears are going to be the option. This one is the one that you want to aim for, for a free to play. You want to at least get all the Danger Close Elimination Score reward. Now this one is easily achievable. You just have to beat both bosses at level 2. And I think that that's going to be quite easy. Now the season rankings, this one is going to be tough. As you can see, uh, looks like the same with what we have on C server, right? Top one will get quite a number of binaries. You can see the amount of quartz is quite minimal. All right, like the top one and top three is like 25 quartz. And top 50 to top one is like barely 100 quartz difference, right? So it's just mostly for fun if you're trying to flex your ranks and stuff. Of course, we're getting new attenders as well. Hot Summer Festival. All right, pretty good. So we're going to have uh, 30 of these um, uh, APT cores alongside with some binaries. Very good. Uh, we also get some of these, the Britra coin alongside with 3000 info and plenty of uh, three pulls at the end. Three blue tickets to help you guys out for hopefully next week. And let's have a look at some of these packages. Anything good right here. So we have Hyper Level Up Package 1 which costs 990 admin coins. This gives you 455 of those things. Wow, appraisals, purple appraisals. That's quite a lot. But for 990 admin coins, hmm. Let's see, 590 admin coins, 5000 infos, and you get some yellow and red skill up books. Pretty good. Hyper Limit Break Package for APT cost 180 and 30 SAPT. Makes sense. Oh, the SC gear is here. Okay, so the SC gear, I would say, is not that bad of a value. If you are a whale, right, or if you are a dolphin, like even if you are a super low spender, you can consider buying this. So this one is actually not too bad because it costs 990 admin coins, but you can buy one SC gear at T6, but you can choose the set option. So it's a selector for the set option. Now, for a whale, is this worth it? Yes. I would say in most cases, yes, because 
if you buy for 990 admin coins, if you go and buy the gold binaries, right? There's a chance that you can never get a, a gear to skill haste. It all depends on your on the randomization of your luck, anyways, to be able to roll into skill haste. You might roll, you might buy like 500 binaries, gold binaries, and then you keep getting anti-supporter, anti-defender, back to anti-supporter, back to anti-siege, anti-tower, and then you will never get what you want. So this selector ensures that at least you complete a set. So there's two packages. One is the SC gear package one. One is the SC gear package two, which is slightly more expensive. 3960 admin coins, but you get to select 3 uh, SSR instead, 3 uh, selector. That is interesting, they don't have the one that gives 2. I think in C server, we used to have this that gives 2. So yeah, our C server has the exact same package right now. So 6 days left, most players will want skill haste or attack speed depending on what you want to complete. This one will give you 3 of the T6. Now again, if you guys haven't watched my video, uh, T6 are better than T7, especially for counter gears, right? Especially for skill haste gears. You know, or you can even buy for soldier max counters depending on which one you want, but I think most players will get for counters anyways. So yeah, I think this one, the value is not that bad. Uh, if you guys are trying to get like somewhat decent-ish gear, again, main gear is still going to be the best, but it might take a while before you can get the, the sub stat that you want or the set effect, the set option that you want on those main gears. It's going to take a while, especially with gold binaries being super limited. So this would be an option to give it to your like secondary DPS characters ETC. Now let's have a look what else. We have the classified recruitment package. Alright, let's talk about the Danger Close. Uh, that's about it for the packages. And the only new thing is perhaps the Danger Close. And let's talk about the preparation. What characters are you going to need for Moderator Type A? And what characters you're going to need for Solicitacho? Now, Moderator Type A is going to be quite straightforward. Now, it really depends on what characters you have. I would say, in most cases, uh, most strikers are going to be quite good against that one. Again, I can't tell what's the buff. But uh, Kal Wong, Geyun, not going to be too bad. So I think uh, Asterosa is something that a lot of players have access to right now. If you have her, Asterosa and Chifuyu is going to be your main uh, key characters right there. Uh, you don't really need Awakened Heal Day depending on your gears, but on level 3, you might need uh, that particular one. Now, Admin Soul Fighter, not going to be that bad of an option. Ainz and Zwei, the twins, is also a pretty decent option. Alright, if you have a new Detroit, you can pair all of these. Roy Burnett is also a, a good option if you're trying to do that as well. Again, I can't tell uh, who is the... They never really mentioned who is the, the buff units. For every Danger Close season, there's usually... Uh, what do you want to call that? Uh, like for example, this one, you can see the White Rabbit will get bonuses. So I'm not sure what is the bonus for Global Server uh, yet as, a, as of the time being. So hopefully, uh, we're going to do like a more Toro Guide once it comes out. But yeah, uh, for Solicita Show, it's going to be much more complicated. This boss right here on the right. This one, you're going to need Sana A, like I mentioned. Uh, Sana A is going to be quite good for this boss because that boss is actually a siege. That boss will slowly move towards your ship and she will start hitting your ship like crazy. So you need a couple of units. Number one, Sana A. Uh, very, very good because her passive skill increase her and surrounding units anti-siege damage by 20%. So this is going to increase your damage significantly just by having her alone. Like even if she's level one, I think you can consider using her just to buff everybody's damage, right? So number two, you need a tower unit. Uh, Gabriel Jun is probably the most famous one uh, in terms of trying to block the boss because like I mentioned, the boss will keep moving forward. You need the boss to stop. Gabriel Jun is the best tower unit right now for an option for players in the global server. So you need to build this guy. You might not have the gears to make him tanky enough. Uh, substitute some of the gears from Awaken Hill Day or Liumi if you have those. Put it on him temporarily, right? Yes, I know it's a him. Uh, some of you guys might not be aware of that. Might think it's a, it's a girl, but it's not. Shiyun. Alright, Shiyun, crucial. Uh, pretty crucial because he has the ability to counter the boss and protect your units at the same time. So if you have Shiyun, consider using him, uh, this boy right here. Especially, he needs his passive skill. You might need... You might not need to uh, max any skills, but he's going to need the special skill, all right? The special skill to be able to counter the boss. So that's quite important. And he might need a very good skill haste set as well. So depending on what you have. And of course, a uh, healers can be good. Uh, Young Harem is always good in Danger Close, all right? Consider, you know, building her. And then we have supporters like Claudia, either Claudia or Evelyn. You might need one or two depending. 
uh, for Solicitatio. So that's going to be crucial and then just bring a bunch of damage dealers that can do a bunch of damage. So yeah, uh, of course once the Danger Close comes out, I I'm going to attempt it myself. But although I don't think I'll be able to beat the level 3 of the boss as well. Because my account on my uh, global server is... You know, I don't have many characters built yet, especially the needed characters. Might need to start working on Gabriel June as well. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the global patch. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.